Welcome back for another video. My name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies like me. And in this video, I'm going to show you how if you're using the Divi theme and switching to another theme, you end up getting stuck with these things called short codes. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of those. It's actually pretty simple. Now, I alluded to this in a video I made about two months ago about page builders. Actually, maybe a month ago it was right when Divi 3 came out and I wanted to compare, it was a perfect time to compare a bunch of uh, the page builders that are out there and I looked at Elementor, I looked at Divi, Beaver Builder, and Thrive Content Builder. And one of the points I made about Divi is a lot of people complain that when you leave Divi you're stuck with all these short codes and I made a little comment, I said, well, there's actually a way around that and it's not too complicated. Now, in full disclosure, I had read an article about it and there was a few people commenting on the article and they said they didn't have a problem getting rid of those short codes. And here is the article right here and anyone could go to Google and type Divi, remove short codes and you're gonna come to this page right here with instructions on how to do it. It's pretty simple. You need a tool. You need to paste this in. And I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. But I will say, when I originally made that video, I hadn't tested this. Okay? So I will say that if you are doing this, it can be perceived as a little technical, although it wasn't that hard for me to figure out, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, the reason I'm actually making this video, I would have made it eventually, uh, but I decided to make it a little sooner and kind of move it up on my video recording schedules because I came across a video somehow, actually someone that is one of my subscribers saw this video and mentioned it to me because they knew that this person was referring to me. So I'm not going to call out somebody by name. I don't do that. But I will play this little bit of the video where the person is saying something in regards to me, but without saying my name, which is, which is a good way of doing it. So I'm just going to push play real quick. Themes, And I said, because um, I watched another YouTuber, and he said, Oh, anybody who says that they're WordPress purists and uh, there's plenty of solutions out there to change these short codes into content. No, no, there isn't. Uh, I emailed Elegant Themes. Okay, so here's the guy complaining about something I said because I said there are solutions to get rid of these short codes. And he's saying, no, there aren't. Well, I'm going to show you, buddy, that there are, and it's really simple. And if you are a developer, it's even more simple. I'm going to explain how to do it in a very non-technical way. And so anyone can do this. So here we go. I've got Divi right here. I'm in the back end. I'm going to change themes real quick. I'm going to change to the 2016 theme and then I'm going to refresh the page so you can see all the short codes. So these are all the short codes that people complain about whenever you want to switch from using Divi and there's this whole perception of Divi for life meaning since your content is wrapped up in these short codes you're stuck. And I get it. And in all fairness, if you use Beaver Builder or Elementor and you stop using the page builder for whatever reason, your content's still nicely there in WordPress. So let me show you how to get rid of all these short codes right now. So I'm going to go back to Divi. I'm going to activate it. Okay. Now you need a plugin for this. It's called All Export. Now the only negative is this plugin costs money. Okay, now if you desperately need to get off of Divi and you don't have the money to buy the plugin, I actually wouldn't buy the plugin just to do this. I think the plugin's like a hundred bucks. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that seems pretty, pretty much a lot of money. It's, it's a utility. You could do lots of things with it, but um, unfortunately, this is the best tool that I found just from following that one tutorial on a real easy way to get rid of these short codes. So you could buy it. However, I might throw this up on a demo WordPress install and if you need to get rid of your short codes, maybe I'll just uh, send me a message and I'll send you a login and you can go import, export, and, and get rid of all those short codes. Uh, but it's actually really not that complicated and I'm sure anyone who knows how to code anything, not me, I don't know how to code anything, but anyone who knows how to code anything can really find an easy way of doing this. And there's probably also 
other easier ways to accomplish it because we're using something basic where we're doing something called pattern matching and there's tons of tools out there that can do this. But I'm gonna show you in WordPress. So once you have all, in, uh, all export installed on your WordPress website, you will go to settings. And when you scroll down, you just need to paste this little bit of information there. I will, I guess, I guess I gotta, well actually, you know what, I just got this from Victor's website right here. When you scroll down, he's got the code right there. He's just missing the first line, which is this thing right here. So you really just are copying and pasting this in. I suppose I could put a text file someplace where you can get access to this easily. So you need to paste that in the settings, click on save functions. Then you go to new export. We're gonna just export the pages right now. So I'm gonna choose pages. And then I'm going to click on customize export file, which is essentially going to the next step. Right here's where those short codes are. So what you need to do is you need to, you need to click on it, click on this advanced little link here, and then click on this checkbox that says export with this PHP function. Then we need to copy this spot right here in that little bit of code we added. The, and we just need to copy and then paste it right here. So it says remove Divi shortcode. We're just pasting it right here. And then click on done. Then scroll down, click on continue. And this is just essentially going to start the export. Well, actually, it's going to take me to the next step. And then I click this button and then it's going to start my export. I only have three pages on this site, so it was really quick. You can see right here, it's three pages. Now, if you have say 100 pages, I really couldn't see it taking more than a minute to export. Then I'm given the option right here to download it as a CSV. However, in the settings, there's multiple ways that you can um, have this data given to you. This is just the default one as a CSV. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna download it to my computer. And now I'm gonna open it up. I might as well just open it up in Excel. Okay, I have it open in Excel. I'm gonna slide it across here. And you could see the only three items I chose to export was the ID, the title, and the content. And here's my content and what's missing? the short codes are missing. Now, that really wasn't that hard. It took all of maybe two minutes to accomplish. Now, the biggest drawback is it requires a tool. Unfortunately, it requires a tool. And I don't know a way around that. However, I could take this tool, install it on a WordPress install, and if you gotta get rid of your Divi short codes, hey, no problem. You can uh, just contact me and I'll give you a login to the site and you can import, export, and get rid of your short codes that way. However, it's not that complicated. I'm sure there's other easy ways to do it because essentially all we're doing, if I go back into the settings, we're using a simple PHP function, which is right here. And this is doing our pattern matching and it's gonna remove those short codes from the content. So I'm sure there is a way of doing this without using this plugin right here. There's probably tons of ways to do this because you've got the code right here. Uh, it's already written. Uh, the pattern matching is already done and that's the most complicated thing. Now, I know that this, this isn't the most non-techy procedure. I don't find it that complicated if you have the tool. But here's the thing. Usually if you're moving from Divi to a different platform and maybe you've got 100 or 200 sites, you're usually going to hire a developer to do it. And for a developer that's taken on a big website project, uh, redesigning a site with 100 pages, paying $99 for this tool is probably not a big deal, as well as doing this to, uh, to put this function in. It's probably not that big of a deal. So anyways, I did want to make a video for all those people that were doubting me. I just wanted to show you that this is something that's possible. Have a little faith, man. That's all I got to say. Hey, before you go, I have something for you. And before I get into that, I wanted to ask you to do something for me. If you could give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button right beneath me. If you have a question on this video, I'd be happy to answer it. You can also leave a comment or a question down below this video. Hey, I put together a course just for you and I'm gonna give it to you for free. All you have to do is click on the button right here on the right. It's called the three steps 
steps to a WordPress success. It's an awesome course. You're going to love it. I would love for you to join in and enroll as a student in this course. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I do it just for you.